Just like Trump, Cory Bernardi knows how to make headlines, even if it means linking same-sex marriage with bestiality. Will that be a future step? Will that be one of the things that say, well, you know, these two creatures love each other, um, you know, maybe they should be able to join in a union. After meeting with key members of the President-elect's team last month, the South Australian Senator made clear he wanted to be a catalyst for change back home. That change could come in the new year, with speculation rife he's planning to quit the Liberal Party to start his own. This issue's been raised uh, on several other occasions before and he's always rejected it. We all know Corey loves a bit of attention, so it's hard to know if this is just a little more attention seeking from Corey. One thing Trump has and Bernardi is lacking is cash. But close friend Gina Reinhardt also met with Trump heavyweights last month, adding fuel to rumours a new Conservative Party could be bankrolled by Australia's richest woman. Corey Bernardi? Well, he's not worth the paper his name is written okay. upon. Also threatening to defect, Queensland MP George Christensen, warning the Turnbull government that without more loyalty, there will come a time when remaining inside the tent is no longer tenable to my conscience or my voters. It demonstrates Malcolm Turnbull's weakness and it demonstrates he doesn't have control of his party. Ask Julie Bishop and there is no division. The Liberal Party remains a broad church. It encompasses the views of conservatives, of liberals, of people from the um, left and the right of the political spectrum. Senator Bernardi has dismissed rumours he'll quit as gossip. He wouldn't comment today. Sophie Walsh, Nine News. The spirit of Donald Trump appears to be hovering over the Australian Liberal Party, particularly over right-wing maverick Cory Bernardi. A constant thorn in the side of the Prime Minister, Senator Bernardi is thought to be 